all right all right yes thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sport 7 gh it's always always a pleasure to have you join us yes so we are going to look at some seven solid players that um chris hutin should improve um at the senior national team the black stars if he wants to win trophies and wants to succeed with the senior national team the black stars there are a lot of bold decisions chris hutin have to take going forward as the next black stars coach um yes and one of them is to improve certain players because if the, some these players do not improve i am not sure he's going to um succeed um with the senior national team the blaster so that is the video we are bringing you here on this channel um in this particular video please do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select or do all to leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always always a pleasure to have you let me know your thoughts and comments views about all the players i'm talking about do you think uh, you agree with me do you not agree with me which other player would you mention that chris Hutin needs to improve them um, in the blasters setup let me know all of that um, in the comment section now the first player to talk about is daniel amati Daniel Amate is a fantastic um, defender of the senior national team, the Blasters. Yes, he's aged. He's around 30 years. Okay. Yes. So um, you might be looking at Daniel Amate facing out of the Black Stars in the next two or three years. That is uh, uh, granted. But in the next two or three years, I am sure Daniel Amate will always be the accepted partner for Salisu Mohammed um, in the central defense of the senior national team, the Blasters. And if you look at our World Cup um, games, clearly you saw that Daniel Amate wasn't so much impressive. Then Salisu was very, very much doing well um, at the back and all of that. But Daniel Amate had a lot of um, deficiencies. And um, so if he's going to continue to be the partner of um, Salisu Mohammed um, at the head of the defense, you know, he's, he's, he's chosen or he's, or he's chosen as the partner of of Salis Muhammad because of experience all the other players he's competing with none of them will uh, none, of, none of them has the experience Daniel Amati had and so because of experience because of the fact that he's still playing at the highest level at Leicester City in the English Premier League and all of that so he needs to improve to help the senior national team defense going forward and that is very very key because at the World Cup just three games we were conceding seven goals and it tells you that we have a very leaky defense and if we don't uh, improve somebody like Daniel Amati is going to be a very bad one for uh, coach uh, Chris Hutin as the next Blasters coach. Now, the next player is no other than Thomas Party. Thomas Partey needs to improve, especially when it comes to the senior national team, the Blasters. He doesn't play well playing for the Ghana Black Stars. And this is a known fact. You get a point. Now, he's one of our trusted midfielders, one of our competent and prolific informed midfielders in Europe. So we obviously have to get him in good form when he's playing for the senior national team, the Black Stars. And that is the reason why he's the second player I am suggesting that coach Chris Hutin should, as a matter of agency, improve him when he comes to the Black Stars. And if Thomas Partey improves. Obviously, we will all reap the benefits from it. The Black Stars team will reap the benefits from it. it Coach Otuado will reap the benefits as well as Thomas Partey himself. Look at what he's doing for Arsenal to, um, in this particular season. If he's not part of the Arsenal team, clearly you see that they are losing a top quality player. What did Mikel Ateta do? What is Mikel Ateta doing right? Those are the things I think Chris Hutin should ensure that he does also right at the Black Stars or in the Black Stars team so that Thomas Partey will um, give us the necessary uh, returns as a fantastic midfielder we all see him to be so thomas Partey is second on the list that chris hilton should improve as the new black stars coach the third on the list and your guess is as good as mine it's Tarek lamte Tarek lamte the brighton and over albion rides back ghana black stars rides back i obviously love Tarek lamte so much he's a good right back he attacks very well he sometimes defends very well and all of that but with the black stars with his team brighton and hover beyond he seems to be losing that confidence he seems to not be on top form you get a point so it it will be good that um it will be good that 
um, um, coach Chris Hutton will improve him for the senior national team, the Black Stars. You get a point. Yes, he's a top quality player. There's no two ways about that. That he is a world class or a top quality right back. So we have to get the needed returns from him. We have to get the needed benefits from Tariq Lamte. Um, he hasn't shown... Uh, I'm not only talking about the Black Stars. For the Black Stars, don't played a lot of games. But even with Bryson Hove Albion, he's struggling to get back into the starting eleven. He's always on the bench. Just some minor games is when he comes in. He comes from the bench and all of that. So he has to back, come back on form. And if he comes back on form, it will be of great benefit to the senior national team, the Black Stars. Because looking around, yes, you can talk like somebody. Like, we have somebody like oh, Ali Duseidu and all of that. But Ali Duseidu doesn't provide a lot of. Um, um, attacking options when going forward. So if you have Tarek Lamte, who knows how to defend a little bit and also knows how to attack um, somehow, then it means that we have to ensure that he improves and then we get the best from him over there. He is the third player we are talking about um, that Chris Hilton should improve. The fourth player is also this player that I'm sure you all are going to agree with me, Kamal Din Suleimana. Kamal Din Suleimana is also a talented and brilliant, fantastic player of Southampton currently and then the senior national team, the Blaster. He didn't get a, a lot of minutes at the World Cup 2022, but a few minutes he got in the game versus Uruguay, he was he achieved for himself the, the, the fastest player, um, the fastest player in the World Cup. It tells you of his quality. Um, since assigning for Sarantin, he's been doing great with pace, with dribbles, and everything. Look, he is a top quality winger that we have. If Kamal Dizulemana was playing for maybe um, an English team, an English national team, or an Ireland national team, we would have been saying that we should go and naturalize him or uh, convince him to naturalize for Ghana. He's a top quality winger. That coach Chris Hutton should ensure that he gets the needed returns from the player. If Improve the player to ensure that command in Suleimana will score goals, assist, um, increase his dribbles rate, and all of that with the senior national team, the Black Stars, and do wonders for the Black Stars over there. I'm sure he is a potential world class player if Chris Hutton is going to help develop him. Antoine Semenyo is the next player, another fantastic. You know, our striking department is lacking, we don't score a lot of goals. And, the strikers especially don't score a lot of goals. So Antoine Semenyo, currently Red Bournemouth, needs to improve when it comes to the Black Stars. He needs to be given the chance to play and score a lot more goals. And I think Chris Hutton should do that job. Because look, we are not scoring a lot of goals. And if I move from Antoine Semenyo, the next player will be Inaki William. Obviously, Inaki William needs to improve. This is not the Inaki Williams we know when he's playing with Athletic Bilbao. Even this season, he's been scoring goals for Athletic Bilbao. So why does he struggle to score goals to fit in the Blaster setup when it comes to the Blasters? Yes, we understand that he naturalized for Ghana. He has to adapt to the team, adapt to the players and all of that. We agree to all of that. But again, um, Inaki Williams also needs to improve and um, start scoring and give the Black Stars the needed returns. So Inaki Williams, one striker that Chris Hilton should improve and also Antoine Semenyo, another striker that Chris, Hitt Chris Hilton should improve so that all those two players will start scoring and giving the senior national team, the Black Stars, the needed returns. Now, this player is very dear to my heart. Runs for the Ebu Akonich star is the last player that Chris Hutton should ensure that he improves. Look, he plays for German second tier side. Fair enough. But he's a top quality young talent who played for Germany Germany under 17. Oh, yes, that's what he work on star. He played for Germany under 17, wanted to play a lot more, wanted to play for the senior national team, the Black Stars, so that he gets a lot of playing time to build his profile and all of that. And so he naturalized for Ghana. Let us not uh, downplay the quality of runs for the Ebu Akonista. He has pace, he, is, he has the dribble, he scores goals, he assists. Look at his team. He's, he's one of the key contributors to goals and assists in his team. So it tells you of his quality. And if you watch him play with the, with the Black Stars too, you see that he has some glimpses of quality that 
coach Chris Hutton, the new Blasters coach, should harness and ensure that we get the needed returns from him. Look, he's a very young player that if we are able to um, keep him on form for the next few years, it tells us that we are going to uh, reap a lot of glories and a lot of successes from this particular player, Ransford Yebu Akonista. And that is the reason why Chris Hutton should make it a special task to improve these players i've talked about and i'm sure that collectively all these players if they are well improved will ensure chris Hutton succeed as the next black as the as the new blasters coach uh, of the senior national team the blasters the 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 the, 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 the recent or the immediate assignment for chris Hutton is in march 2023 where he will be playing uh, african cup of nations qualifiers and that is when Ghanaians will start assessing him so he should sit, hit the grounds running over there thank you very much for staying with us on this channel of sports 7 gh um, please do all to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and select all like this video and leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always always a pleasure to have you definitely i'll see you in the next updates Thank you very much. Bye-bye.